Welcome to the cat and mouse game scratch challenge. In this challenge, you're going to create a basic cat and mouse game. I'm going to go full screen so you can see it. When I click the green flag, the mouse randomly goes around the screen. I can control the cat with the arrow keys again. And every time I eat the mouse, the score goes up. All right, that's your challenge. Now, if you think you can do it, as always, jump into Scratch, go ahead. If you want to stay for some hints, stay on for some hints. All right, let's make a new project. Okay, in this project, I'm just going to focus on teaching you how to create the mouse. You should have all skills ready to make the cat move and the mouse detect if it's being eaten by the cat. So let's delete the cat sprite and choose a mouse. Okay, you notice this mouse comes with two costumes. So we want to make this cat move randomly around the screen. And to do randomness on the computer, you have to use random numbers. And if you go to operators, there's this pick a random number between one and 10 block, and you can change those numbers. This will be the key to success with this challenge. But before we use that block, I'm gonna put it off the side, let's just get it moving around the screen. And think about it. Basically what I want it to do is move for a little bit, turn, move for a little bit, turn, move for a little bit, turn, move for a little bit, turn. So how do I make it move for a little bit? Well, I use the move block, right? Now I could say move 10 steps, but I want to move for a little bit. So I'm going to go to control and instead of forever, I'm going to do repeat. So if I do repeat 10, move 10 steps, I'll move 100. Great. Then I want it to turn. So I'm going to have it turn 15 degrees. So it moves for a little bit, turns, moves for a little bit, turns, move for a little bit, turn, move for a little bit, turn. That's great. And I want to do that over and over again forever. So I'm going to put a forever around this. Wait, you can put a loop inside a loop? You can, and it's actually really powerful. And I'm going to connect the green flag here. Okay, so there are two problems here. One, the mouse goes off the screen. So how can I stop that from happening? Well, there's this cool block called if on edge bounce. And where do I put it? Well, I want to detect after every move 10 steps if it's on edge and bounce off that edge if it does. So I'm going to put it the repeat right after the move 10 steps. So now at least stays on the screen, which is important. But it's a little too predictable. And that's where this pick random block comes in. So right now it's moving the same amount each time. But if I put this green block, which can fit into anywhere there's a number, and this repeat 110, instead of, I can change this to five to 20. It's not gonna move a different amounts. I could also do that with the turn which was really make it random. So instead of turn 15 degrees, I can put this in here. But if you know how many degrees there are in a circle, they're 360. So I'm going to go all the way to 360. Click, and now you have a more random mouse. Now, you can play where you put these pick random numbers and play with the numbers to get it as random as you want. You may be asking, how did I get the tail to move? Well, I want to bring this up because it's really important. If I put in next costume with the move 10 steps, tail move really fast. And if I want to slow it down, I could put a weight in here. It would work. but it slows down how fast it's moving as well, you see? 
It's not just slowing down the tail, it's slowing down how much it's moving as well. So one way to deal with that is by creating a different group of blocks. So this animation, I'm gonna create in a separate forever loop over here, started by the green flag again. Wait, you can do that? You can have two green flags in the same sprite? You can. The technical term for this is threading with multiple threads. And this will run independently of this. So now the speed stays the same, but the tail wags at the rate I want. A little tip to how you can control animation. All right, you should have all the information to complete this game now. Good luck. Add extras as always. You can have more than one mouse. You can have helper mouse. You can have evil mouse that poison the cat as always. Be creative, make it your own. Good luck and keep on scratching.